Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to implement a generic CRUD repository in a .NET Web API using Elasticsearch. So as a prerequisite, we will install a new Elasticsearch instance on Windows. You can check out my video on how to install Elasticsearch with Docker. And for this demo, we will use a simple clean architecture template. You can check out my video about what is clean architecture. I'll provide the links in the description below. So the first step is to add the user and password for the Elasticsearch basic authentication in the API. So go to the app settings.json and add a section called Elastic, which includes the user that by default is Elastic and the password. I will copy from the docker command to run a local instance on Windows. So the second step is to add the required NuGet package in the persistence layer. So go to manage NuGet packages and search for the nest library to use the Elasticsearch APIs in that net. That's it. The next step is to register the Elastic client service so in the persistence layer, I will add a new class called persistence installers, which will be an static class with an extension method to register all the Elasticsearch uh, services required in the API. So add a public static void at persistence services by using the service by service collection interface install the required package and add the i configuration interface to access the app settings.json values so install the required package add a variable called settings and create a new connection settings from the nest package by defining a new uri with the url of the Elasticsearch instance that is HTTPS local host and the default port and configure several options. The first one is to add the basic authentication by passing the username and password. So add a property called credentials to get the section. The elastic section contains the user and the password. So copy the name and then pass the respective keys. This key is the first key is the name of the user property and pass the password. Configure the certificates. In this case, we will use in HTTPS. So we will trust the local SSL certificate. So called certificate validators that allow all. This is certificate validations that allow all the certificates and the final configuration is to add a default index. So the default index for our demo is the product index on Elasticsearch to perform all the CRUD operations. Now we will create a single tone service for our Elastic client. So how to do that? Call the services that add single tone method by passing the interface, the Elastic Client, and create a new Elastic Client by passing the settings. The next step is to add the generic repository in the persistence layer. So define the contract in the application layer. Replace the name of this iDatabase service for iGeneric repo. That is a generic repository. So add the generic type and define the CRUD methods, the signatures of the methods. The first one will be an enumerable of a string because we will return the IDs for the new created documents in the index. The name of the method is index and we will receive uh, an enumerable of documents. All the methods will be asynchronous. The second one is to get a particular document based on the ID. The third method is to update a document and we will return a Boolean result. 
based on the document and the ID. And finally, the last method is to delete a document based on the ID. That's it. That's our generic repo interface defined. So go to the implementation and rename this database service by generic repo, which will be type T. And we will implement the interface. So implement all the methods and implement each CRUD operation. The first one is to index multiple documents in the default index, the product index. How to do that? We will check if the index exists. So the index name, uh, we will take the type. So the index name will be type of the T generic type and the name I will transform to lowercase. So we will validate uh, the index response by using the elastic client. So add a constructor and inject the I elastic client interface by a constructor injection, declare a private field and then call client then indexes that exist async by passing the index name okay at the await and async keywords if the index that exist property is false we will create an index so call the client that indexes that create async passing the index name and finally we will insert many documents so add a variable called response and then call the client that insert index many async by passing the documents okay we need to define the type of as a reference type to insert the multiple documents so i have to add this constraint in the generic repo class and then we will return the ids so by accessing the items property and select the id and finally here is important to in the creation of the index to map the properties from this specific particular t class all the properties to the index so how to do that we'll add a lambda function that represents the create index descriptor and we will map the type t and then we'll use the auto map function to map all the properties from our index our new index and that's it and the second method is to get a specific document so we will await client that get async passing the id and return the source define the type t I will return the source that is a field which represents the document. The next method is to update a document. So we will store the response in a variable and then call client.updateAscene by passing the ID and define the update descriptor as a lambda function by calling the doc function and passing the document from, from the method argument and then return let's add the async and await keyword and return response that is valid property and on the delete method we'll await the client that delete async function passing the id and okay define the type t and return the is valid property as well and that's it we implemented the repository so go to the persistence installers and register the service. So services that add a scope, define the service type. In this case will be the I generated repo of type, type of I generated repo. Okay. Import the reference to the application layer and the implementation type will be type of the generic repo. That's it. Go to the program.cs file and call this add persistent services. So remove this part and call add persistent services by passing the configuration. That's it. Now the next step is to add a simple model 
which represents the product class so go to the domain layer remove the entities folder and add a class called product with two simple properties to keep it simple and the first one is the name and the price so the next step and the final step is to test the api so go to the controllers replace the name of this user controller to product controller remove this method and then add all the CRUD HTTP methods. So the first one is the HTTP post to insert many documents. So we will return the IDs and from the body we will receive all the products. Okay. So we need to inject by a constructor injection the generic repo. So generic repo of type product in this case define a private field and simply invoke the method from the repo index by passing the products define the await and async keyword so this will be an async, async task okay the second method is to get data for a particular document based on the id we will return a product based on the id by a query parameter and by calling the get method passing the id that's it the third method is to update using the http put attribute and then return a boolean value calling the update method by passing the product the id then update the document that's it and finally add the http delete method that returns a boolean value and receives the id and that's it we're ready to test our web api so run the api and test the http methods in the swag ui add two products a shoe and a jacket with different prices let's set secure it it throws an error so okay i this is not the implementation this is the interface so replace this with the interface the stop the application and run again sorry for that add two products shoe and a jacket let's secure it we have the ids let me copy the second id to get the product information we have the name jacket and the price so far so good let's update the product by passing the id and defining the new values jacket let's name it let jacket and price of 30 let's secure it done get the product date again as you can see it's updated and finally we will delete the product by passing the id true so to get http method and let's secure it it doesn't return anything let's test with the first id to see if the shoe product exists so far so good so we successfully implemented a generic crowd repository in a dotnet with api using elasticsearch